up and welcome back to a new video in this video we are going to compare this thermal text ux 200 cpu cooler with the amd's red spire cpu cooler which comes with the ryzen 5 1600 processor or the ryzen 7 2700 processor or even the ryzen 5 3600x processor so without any further delay let's jump right into it First we have the Red Spire CPU cooler which is rated for around 95 watt of TDP. Now this CPU cooler comes with aluminium fins and it has got a 90mm fan attached to it and this is controlled by 4 pin PWM of your motherboard. So this is the upgraded version of the AMD's Red Stealth CPU cooler which comes with the lower end processors like uh, 3200G or 2200G and even the Ryzen 5 3600 so this is the upgraded version of the Red Stealth CPU cooler and and this performs somewhat better than the Red Stealth CPU cooler now let's just talk about this Thermaltech UX200 CPU cooler this cooler has got 4 copper heat pipes and has a copper base plate this comes with aluminium fins, this has got a 120mm addressable RGB fan which has a rated speed of 300 to 1500 RPM and this cooler is rated for around 130 watt. So let's see how this how this coolers perform in my testing. So for the test bench I have got Ryzen 5 1600 on an A320 motherboard. I have got the RX 570 with 16 GB of RAM. For stress testing the CPU I have used the CPU Z application and for temperature monitoring I am using the HW Info software and I have run the test for around 15 minutes for each of the coolers and the test, test results are like this so here we go first we have the AMD's Red Spire CPU cooler on my testing this CPU cooler has performed really well and it handled the Ryzen 5 1600 pretty well we have achieved a minimum temperature of 37 degrees celsius and a maximum of 63 degrees celsius the fan speed was at 100% and RPM was around 2700 RPM. And now we have the Thermaltex UX200 CPU cooler. On this cooler we have achieved the maximum temperature of 56 degrees celsius which is straight 8 degrees celsius cut and a minimum temperature of 32 degrees celsius. Now this CPU cooler has performed really well on my opinion and this Ryzen 5 1600 is running on its stock speeds. Now if you wanna overclock your processor, this product is definitely a bang for your buck. You can easily get this on Amazon for around 2200 rupees and it is a totally value for money product. So it has got a big thumbs up from my side and it is totally recommended product. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison. If you have any queries, or doubts regarding this you can questions in the comment section below and i will also give you the link of the this product on amazon check the description so yeah that's pretty much it if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more informative videos and information related to pc tech so thank you guys bye, -bye.